Chapter 40 Then the Lord said to Job, Do you still want to argue with the Almighty? You are God's critic, but do you have the answers? Then Job replied to the Lord, I am nothing. How could I ever find the answers? I will put my hand over my mouth in silence. I have said too much already. I have nothing more to say. Then the Lord answered Job from the whirlwind, Brace yourself, because I have some questions for you, and you must answer them. Are you going to discredit my justice and condemn me so you can say you are right? Are you as strong as God, and can you thunder with a voice like His? All right then, put on your robes of state, your majesty and splendor. Give vent to your anger, let it overflow against the proud. Humiliate the proud with a glance, walk on the wicked where they stand, bury them in the dust, imprison them in the world of the dead. Then even I would praise you, for your own strength would save you. Take a look at the mighty hippopotamus. I made it just as I made you. It eats grass like an ox. See its powerful loins and the muscles of its belly. Its tail is as straight as a cedar. The sinews of its thighs are tightly knit together. Its bones are tubes of bronze. Its limbs are bars of iron. It is a prime example of God's amazing handiwork. Only its creator can threaten it. The mountains offer it their best food where all the wild animals play. It lies down under the lotus plants hidden by the reeds. The lotus plants give it shade among the willows beside the stream. It is not disturbed by raging rivers, not even when the swelling Jordan rushes down upon it. No one can catch it off guard or put a ring in its nose and lead it away.